All right. Well, are we live or what? I think so. Welcome to this live stream. So uh, to kick this off, let me just start off by saying that today we're seeing a video because I just decided that I wouldn't be able to get today's video done in time. Um, I actually wanted a little bit more time to work on it. Um, I honestly could have gotten it up, but I don't know. I'm not about just kind of doing it and getting it done as fast as possible. So I'm going to do a live stream today. I don't often do live streams. Um, Travis is hitting the hay. He's actually not hitting the hay. He's uh, heading out. He is going to... That's weird. Why isn't it showing over here? Um, him and Brittany are going up. Zip line his channel. But So yeah, I'm going to answer any questions that you guys may have. This is kind of just going to be a laid back live stream like I used to have. Um, I used to do these a lot more than I now, but I want to kind of start getting into the rhythm of doing them again. So that way I can kind of talk to you guys because, uh, I guess there's a couple things that I want to hear from you guys. Top chat. Okay. Can you do more hay vids, please? Well, I'm certainly going to try to as soon as we can. All right. So what's up everybody? How are we all doing? What is the first question? I'll get to that in a bit. I'll probably ask it and you guys won't even know. So, When is the vid on the surprise? Um, well, the whole, uh, actually, I'll talk about this a little bit now, but something's going down with Rhino Ag, um, and I'm excited to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it in my next actual video where I use the Rhino Ag equipment rather than just a live stream with it. And, um, I'm excited for it. I really am. It's what's coming is going to be pretty good. I think people are going to enjoy it. So would you ever get back into chopping silage? Maybe like custom chopping, I guess. Um, I don't really see us getting back into it in the near future, even though I would like to get back into doing it. Um, it's good feed the harvesters there, but whether or not will you ever use them again? Never know. Mm -hmm. Do you like your diesel truck? Yes, I love it, except for as of late. I've been having issues with it, believe it or not. Just throwing sensors and stuff. Um, I'm getting engine codes for like the, the uh, God, I can't think of it, the SCR, the catalytic reduction stuff that's in it, all the emissions stuff that they have on it. It starts wrong with it. I had them actually look at it and figure out what was wrong with it. So, how old am I? I am 25. I'm going to try to answer as many questions as I can. Please stream as long as I have to. I, will, I mean, we, I had stuff that I wanted to do today, but unfortunately, it started to rain pretty good last night, and the ground is pretty wet, so it's kind of restricting the stuff that we can do. And since I'm not posting my video, I figured I'd just live stream. It's Friday anyway, right? Right? What's up, Jason? I'm sorry you broke your leg. Ouch. Get better soon. Uh, Cassius asks, are you looking forward to har harvest? I am. Yes. Uh, I wasn't for most of the summer, but I'm starting to look forward to it again. Can you send farming pictures to me from Sweden? Yes, I would love that. Especially if you have mountains in the background. Those are the most beautiful pictures. All right. Someone's calling me, but I'm kind of busy right now. Uh, da, 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 da. So members have green names. Okay. What time is it in Wisconsin? It is 11.20. I'm surprised you don't have a bigger chisel plow to pull behind the 82. Have you guys ever looked at a 9,000 series tractor? Are those too big for your operation? Drew Tilbert, or Tibbet, Tibbert. Um, I mean, Travis and I have talked about it, but you can actually get an older 9, nine for a pretty good price. But at this point, especially with the way that crop prices are right now, it's hard to justify it whatsoever. So why does my chat keep disappearing? Please respond, says Victor Chills. What's up, Victor? What's up, Patrick? You're welcome, Henry's Farming Photography. Why don't you boys snowplow in the winter? Snowplow like the actual public roads? So you got snowplows for and county workers able to buy dairy cows and get a market would you start dairy farming again 
Um, depends. I mean, if I could get like filthy rich doing it, maybe then it would be worth the t- time. But as far as getting back into it, just to get back into it. No, mostly because you don't like right now, especially with the way the market prices are, you don't make your money back. At least I don't think it's worth it, especially how you tear your body up with it. Are you doing a live stream on Instagram? Maybe I will um, next week. I'm kind of busy until now. Things are kind of chaotic. Um, part of the reason I didn't get my video posted on time this morning was because I had trouble with my washing machine. It flooded my old kitchen out here and um, it got everything wet. I, I'm currently wearing some of my only clean clothes right now. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just kind of goes to say what's been going on. Where in Wisconsin are you from, Max? George Palmer. Um, is your cousin Arnold? Arnold? Um, we're from Southwest Wisconsin, Grant County, Potosi. What does your truck get for miles per gallon? Depends how I drive it. If I'm driving it just between the farms, it gets like 11 because it's nothing but stop and go. Um, we have, I have, two stop signs between here and the farm and the farm is less than a mile away. So by the time I get up to speed, I have to stop. <laughs> but if I drive continuously, the truck, gets, I think my record with it is 27 or 28. How do you keep farming? Um, is that like a philosophical question or like a literal question? Would you ever guys ever consider a case IH Magnum? Asked Michael. Um, Probably for the right price. I mean, Case has a big following, you know, so we're just familiar with John Deere. Not to say we wouldn't buy a Case price, but, you know, if we're looking at two similar tractors and we're basically the same John Deere and the same Case, we're probably going to swing for the John Deere just because it's what we've always had. Time for the old rock washing machine. (laughs) Yeah, basically. That's kind of my opinion on it because yesterday was an awful day. Like everything went wrong because the washing machine went out, the drain pump went out in it. So my clothes were sopping wet that I was going to wear yesterday clothes. Well, the old kitchen flooded. So I got all my other clothes wet. All right. Well, then I, the clothes that were in the washing machine, I put into the dryer and then the dryer started to smoke. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I'm going to go over and today and look at a new washing machine and dryer. Enough about my personal life, though. <laughs> Would you consider a Massey? Probably. Those are some slick-looking tractors. They are a tad bit on the expensive side, though. I've looked at the prices on them. Is the live stream pretty good quality, pretty, pretty decent? Because um, in the past, this is actually a new thing that I'm using. YouTube came out with a new encoder of their own that uh, just kind of live streams from YouTube's website. And it's actually kind of nice. Hi from Lancaster. What's up, Dom255? What's up, James Stancil? Hey, Jim, what's going on? What's your... No. (laughs) Kind of laggy. All right. Well, that's just my uh, internet, unfortunately. What's up, Gabriel? Hey, my grandfather has always ran forward. He had two more leans back in the 70s and 80s, but he says nothing runs better than blue. I disagree. So it is a little lag on my end, so I'm not totally sure. It's probably just my uh, my internet. Since I got new neighbors... Uh, I will admit uh, I've gotten new neighbors since the last time where I used to live stream like every week. And um, I think my internet has substantially gotten slower just for the fact of they're on it. I'm pretty sure like all the time because I don't think they have internet or any TV or anything. So they probably stream Netflix like I do. And I live out in the middle of nowhere. So my internet's terrible. Pro and all in one. Uh, Not an all in one, unfortunately. That's all I'll say about that. And I think that was them who just called me, actually. I'm pretty sure that was Crone. Let me check. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, Anyway. (laughs) 
Okay. It's just kind of here. Um, they want to make sure we don't chop anything, which we don't. Uh, what's your fa second favorite tractor brand? I already answered that. Um, that neutrality strikes again. You need to come to the Ag Expo in Moultrie, Georgia in October. The problem with going to like farm shows in October is that maybe in Georgia they're down or they're done harvesting, but here in Wisconsin, harvesting, so there's no way I would be able to go to a farm show in October, probably ever, um, just for the pure fact of how busy we are. What is your average corn yield here in Divine Cancer, Pennsylvania? We get about 275. Well, um, there's what a farmer will, or there's the farmer's response and then there's the probable response. Um, my average corn yield, my own, is somewhere around like 200, 210. Cows had their calves. Yes, they are, Johnny. Uh, they're done calving for the year. What's up, Levi Hamrick? Hi from Livingston, Wisconsin. Pretty close. When will you be at the Farm Progress Show? Ask Case Farmer. I will be at the Farm Progress Show on next Tuesday, uh, August 28th, at the Rhino Ag booth, which is booth 1242. And I'll be there probably from 10 to whenever the show gets over, probably no later than 6 o'clock. I'm not totally sure when the show. When is the update on the Rhino deal? I've actually talked about it on Rhino Ag's Facebook. If you guys are interested in finding out more about what's going on with Rhino, uh, go over to Rhino Eggs Facebook page and check out the video that I posted on Tuesday at the end of the day. Um, I could repeat it all now, but I'm planning on making a, you know, make, commenting on it on an actual video. And my comments disappeared again. There we go. Hi, Ryan. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. CR Farming videos. You have any special hardware to play farm like a steering wheel <laughs> no unfortunately um travis and i were talking i'm probably gonna get farming simulator and i probably will uh do i'm gonna move this over here i probably will do like live streams of playing farming simulator in the fall when it comes out why not are you anywhere near La Crosse, wisconsin La Crosse is north by like 120 miles i think how is the sponsorship coming along? Uh, you mean Rhino's sponsorship? Do the Vandal if you don't want to answer, just skip over it. Um, whatever happened to them? Well, I mean, there's something for me to really say about it. What's your view regarding right to repair for newer, higher tech tractors? I think a farmer should have the right to repair his own tractors. What I think the company shouldn't do is do what the, the government like truck makers to do their vehicles. And so like GMC, the truck that I have now, um, the government actually made a mandate so that manufacturers have to basically make their emissions tamper proof. So what that means is that the, to get into the uh, emissions on the truck, the ECU, um, you have to get a unique password specific to your vehicle that only GMC has. They don't share it with the owners. Only they have it so that they can only share it with dealerships. So, yeah, I think that that kind of stuff is wrong. I think that people should be able to do to their vehicles whatever they please. Uh, hey, Ryan, I've watched almost all the calf cow, cow, cow videos, and I have one question. Does it make money in the end, or is it profitable? I'm looking at starting up something like this. Well, let me tell you, we wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't profitable. That's why we've gone out and got those bottle calves, because we do make money on it. It is fairly expensive. Uh, in the short run, just because you have to pay for the calves up feed and uh, milk place and everything. But other than that, no big deal. Have you considered being a consult for new farmers? Uh, I'm pretty sure I am a consult for new farmers. I get people asking me all the time, any tips and stuff. And I try to answer as many as I can, but I know that I don't respond to them all just because I get tons of messages. But actually, yeah, I think, and, you know, give answer those questions on live streams, which is why I actually have been doing it a little bit more lately, even just across like Instagram and stuff. So do you know where Substation Road is? Yes, I do. Uh, Callan, 1949 said, Ryan, I enjoy your show. I like seeing everything you and your family do on the farm. Keep up the good work. My question is, where is Jamie? Well, it's 1130 on a Friday. 
Um, Jamie is currently at school working. Fits are basically to give you more weight on the tractor. So more weight equals more traction. Unless you're in mud or something, then uh, I mean, less weight is probably a little bit better. I'm just gonna put this on uh, silent because it's freaking out. What would you recommend for someone that's buying cattle for the first time to get? Uh, depends on what kind of cattle. I, if you're gonna buy cattle and you have pasture ground, I say get bred cattle, get breeding cattle because they pay for themselves and um, they really take care of the calves themselves. So, you know, if you have an off farm job, like most startup farmers have to have, you, you know, they're typically easier to handle than say bottle calves where you have to feed them morning and night. Will you be at the farm tech days in Jefferson County in 2019? Not totally sure. Maybe. Um, I just say maybe because I went, was it last year or the year before? I think it was the year before. My dad raised bison and he never made a dime. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, I mean, these days, if you raise cattle and you don't make it, you probably won't be raising cattle for too long if you're a farmer. Hi, Ryan. I'm starting a new bottle calf herd next fall, spring. Are you buying any more calves? Uh, yes, we are, actually. We're still buying. At least we have been. The, the new Rewind video is coming out probably at the end of this month, or next month, I should say, September, or beginning of October. Um, it kind of just depends. I've been really busy these last few weeks, and I have not hardly gotten any more footage shot for it. Um, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some more and get it done here. I did a I did a wedding last weekend, and I've got, like, I've at least got a day's worth of footage. And... Equivalents of the footage that I typically shoot, I shot it like in a lower resolution, but basically it's the equivalent of one of my normal videos times like 20. That's how much footage I have to go through. So, how is the better half? Doing great. Look at this 149.60 is on fire. I cut my legs off the cab class on me. What the heck? Any thoughts on getting a grain hauling truck um, in the future? Not right now. How do you read the screens on a okay. What kind of screens? Like the digital screens, like the green star? I don't even know what they are in a combine. I really haven't been in, in, in the new uh, John Deere S series too much. Even like in a 70 series and 60 series, I haven't been in. Do you prefer black Angus or red Angus cows to raise? I prefer black Angus. Travis likes reds just because he likes the look of, look of them. Can't blame him. Hello, Ryan. I'd like to know if you have ever considered cultivating a crop like wheat to diversify your crop rotation and cut down on plant. Good question. Um, well, Van de Bush. Um, sorry if I totally butchered that. Uh, we have considered it. The thing is, we talk to other people and they give us horror stories about the, uh, what do they call it, the black scab on wheat. So it kind of made us hesitant because we've heard about people having to throw out just all of their wheat or so hey car farmer man kentucky farmer man what's up what's your least favorite job on the farm um climbing in the silo and cleaning it out yep have you guys ever considered doing any peanuts no we haven't those are kind of a specialty crop at least to my knowledge they require special equipment and a lot of money to invest to get started with i'm not even sure if we we can raise them here to be perfectly honest The 8235R to the 2012. What is your next tractor? Who knows? I could give you a, or I could just kind of shoot something out there, but well, the odds of it being accurate, pretty unlikely. I would like a 7400 back. I really would. The 7400 was a nice light tractor with a loader. Thanks, Michael. I appreciate it. And also, thanks for being a member. Uh, da, 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 da. What's more expensive, a John Deere or Kubota? A traditional Kubota. Kubotas are made lighter. Um, doesn't necessarily mean they're worse. I've never really had any experience with Kubota. So, do you make a very good living, or how is the pay? Like, with what? With farming? Because how much I've made farming has pretty much always stayed the same. 
Um, what I've made with YouTube has actually gone down. And that's not because my viewership has gone down. My viewership has actually gone up. But um, I lost my MCN, so that was a hit to my revenue right there. And then and all these new ad policies have really affected um, how much we're getting paid. I'm getting paid like a third of what I was on YouTube two years ago, even though I have way more views. Are Midwestern farmers looking at the growing legalization of cannabis? Do you ever expect it will be grown industrial scale in the Midwest? Um, actually, we looked at it a little bit, but we weren't totally sure the logistics of it. So we heard that farmers could actually, but whether or not that's true, I'm not totally sure. Please, please let me get a shout out, says Trey Campbell. Do you rose limousine? What? Do you ever buy an Alice Chalmers for under $2,000 in good shape? For under $2,000? Maybe I would. <laughs> Depends how old. If it, was in, if it was in really good shape, then probably, I mean, if it would be worth it. Good morning. How, how is your day? is actually going fantastic compared to yesterday. Thanks for asking, Joey. Watching from Canada. You ever thought about growing wheat for your cattle? Um, we actually raise oats, and yes, straw is a very good bedding for cattle, uh, especially compared to like corn fodder. Are there many Brahmins cows up in your area? Because I raise red and gray Brahmin cows. Um, most of the cattle that you see around. All right, see you later, Michael. How big are your bottle calves when you sell them? Um, we like to say we sell them as at feeder weight around 500 pounds, but usually they're a bit more, maybe like six or 700 pounds. Hey, Wesley, what's going on? Hi, are you going to demo a combine this fall? Asked Brandon Hickman. I have not been asked to demo a combine, so I can't say that we are going to demo one. I would like to demo one in the future. We did have an opportunity to demo one uh, in 16, but um, I wasn't too crazy about it, I guess, at the time. Just because going on. We already had a tractor that we were demoing. Will we see anything on um, a deal from Crone soon? John Deere driver sent 95. I mentioned the thing about the Crone demo. Um, I was actually planning on getting it on the farm that week, but unfortunately it's been raining on and off, so we aren't making any hay. So on a lot. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait until we have the hay down before we get it on the farm. So How's the weather up there from Illinois? Uh, it's been raining. I think it's pretty well quit now, but uh, working on farm at farms asked, so when is the rhino equipment going to be for sale? Cause I am interested in a tether. Well, cat's out of the bag. Um, the rhino equipment is probably gonna go up for sale sometime next month. It's gonna be in fast line. Uh, um, but I'm looking forward to getting the news. Taking it out, I guess. Are you going to use the 7600 or sell it? Uh, we're going to keep using it. Jason, Jamie is my girlfriend. Did your neighbor have much to say about their horses get out? Um, I haven't gone and talked to him. I tried. I stopped in, but nobody was home. So I haven't stopped in since. Either way, I have it on camera. I have the damage and everything. So if things aren't what they should be, work on corn, they're going to hear something about it. I'm actually keeping a close eye on the horses, Vic, making sure that they are getting fed. Have you ever been to Rolex Steam Threshing Expo in Minnesota? I have not. How many cattle do you have total on the farms? Roughly, I would say 125 now. We're going back up. We went down for a while, but we're going heading back up. I've seen some tractors that turn the whole tractor or drive at a 25, 35 degree angle while still moving in a straight line. Do you know what the purpose of this is? You'll have to send me a link to that navy blue. I thought you meant articulate tractors at first, but um, I'm not totally sure what you mean by that. Hi, Ryan. Hi from Ontario, Wisconsin. Sorry, Ontario, Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, so sorry about the calf that passed away. It seems so passed away. Rosie. Oh, yeah, it was pretty sad. 
Fritzy, Fritzy's my new baby, though. She's doing all right. I'm actually going to let her up into the steer lot now because we got the fence in, which, hint, hint, that's going to be Sunday's video. Hey, Ryan, when is your next harvest? Uh, we're probably going to be starting sometime in September, especially for how, like, things are drying. Uh, our corn is pretty far ahead. I, I wouldn't be too surprised if we were some of the first people in the area to harvest our corn because our corn... Well, is shorter and drier. Our corn got in pretty early compared to everybody else, but it's still staying green. And that means that's that's good news for the yield. So uh I keep in Ryan, not too bad, Pat. What breed are your bottle calves? They're Holsteins. Um, what's my opinion on raising cattle? Um, like I said before, bred cattle. Oh, calves, then go for it. All right, I'm starting to get behind. What's your favorite YouTuber? What's my favorite YouTuber? It's a good question. I'm going to have to think on that one. To be perfectly honest, I can't come up with anyone off the top of my head. There are several YouTube channels that I like. I often don't watch too much of YouTube just because... I'm so busy already responding to people. Like I get emails all the time and I still don't answer them all. Um, I used to be really good at keeping up with that stuff, but unfortunately kind of got out of hand. I'd like to make enough money from the YouTube thing to be able to pay for someone else to like edit my videos because it just takes me so much time that I feel at this point, if someone else was to edit the videos for me, I think that my channel could really take off. Any word on feed prices in your area here in Southern Alberta? Uh, 25, a ton I've heard. I haven't heard, honestly. How do you edit videos on Premiere Pro? I would not recommend it. What type of crone are you going to demo? It's a surprise. How many acres of corn did you guys plant this year? Um, I'm not totally sure total. Maybe like six, 700, maybe more, maybe less. I don't keep too close tabs on Travis's and dad's. How many combines have you had on the farm or farm started? Uh, I think we're on number three or four. I honestly don't know. All I know is that we had a 6620. I can't remember what the dad said that they had before that. <sighs> Make a video all about Rocket. I was thinking about it. Watched any of my videos? I think so, actually. Because if you're a member, I've actually gone on all of my uh, sponsors' channels, and I've subscribed, and um, I'm, if you had videos on there, I probably checked them out at least. I think he's talking about a crab steer tractor where every wheel is making its own track. Oh, yeah. I've heard of those. Okay. Thank you for clarifying, for clarifying that. How many acres of land do you have? Uh, roughly 1,200. Will the equipment be sold you used of the Rhino deal? I thought you would buy the BT or the Tedder. Uh, the original plan with the Rhino deal was for us to buy the Tedder, or the Tedder, was to buy the Rhino equipment. But since, you know... We're going to extend the Rhino deal. Um, it's kind of in our favor to just kind of wait. I mean, the whole thing with the Rhino deal is that we could end the, you know, we could cancel it and not get anything out of it except for the use of the equipment for the last two years. So we're extending it, and hopefully at the end of the agreement, um, then we'll be able to purchase some of the equipment that we want to keep. So. You have a great weekend too, IHUS. Why did PTO shafts came out proper late for tractors? You're gonna have to clarify that a little bit better. How old is Rocket? Rocket is six chain hogs. We don't raise hogs. We're not big fans of them. Challenger, I uh, got pretty close, but didn't come around. When are you gonna start in the grain bin? Um, we're going to start on it, hopefully, once I get back from the show next week. So we're looking at two weeks, hopefully. 
that we're going to start building the green bin. And that's probably going to be like right as I get back, as long as the weather's good and everything. Look, check out Rocket should have his own YouTube channel. I thought about starting Rocket his own Instagram account. <laughs> Is there a video on YouTube about the horse getting out? Um, no, there's only a video on YouTube where I went and fixed the fence because I have not physically seen the horses in there. Uh, I know that the horses were in there because of the horse manure, the horse hoof prints, and the uh, damage to the corn. Was there ever a windmill on the farm at Rockville? Good question, Andrew. Yes, um, there was one actually right in the center of our kind of between the buildings there. There used to be a cement slab and then the uh, windmill was right next to it. But we took it out like two years ago now. I know you say that you don't plan on chopping corn, but with the damaged corn fields, would it be better than waiting for it to dry down? My 11 acre corn field has some damage in it. Um, I'm not, I mean, I'm not worried about it not drying down because the most of the damage is confined to one corner and then there's just paths strewn throughout. So I don't think that drying is going to be an issue. What's your favorite winter memory on the farm? I've actually talked about this multiple times in my live streams, but I'll tell it again just because I love it so much. So um, back when grandpa was still alive, um, we had with this UTV, I got after, I think I got back from uh, classes at Platteville one day and um, I decided to have a little bit of fun with the mule. So I took the mule out to the field along the highway and I drew a certain phallic object uh, in the snow, and I <laughs> and I was just like, "Oh man, this is so much fun!" So I took it. I took the UTV back into the into the buildings, and then whatever else. And then it, it was either that night or the next day. Uh, one of my relatives showed up, at, uh, you know, basically complaining about it. And Grandpa, that night when I walked into the house, kind of just slowly turned to me and said. Did you uh, draw something out in the field here? And I'm like, oh, maybe. Why? He's like, oh, so and so stopped earlier. Uh, they said that you drew something out there. And I'm like, oh yeah. Um, I just went out there and drove around with, with the UTV, and <laughs> he just kind of shook his head and laughed. So I think he just thought it was funny more than anything. Get yourself something nice. I know it's not a lot, but eh. Well, thanks, Sponge Cake. I appreciate it. Timothy hadn't asked, how's the farming season going? It's going great. The corn's looking good. Beans are looking good. Prices aren't looking too fantastic, though. Hello from Vancouver, Ford Forest Permaculture. What time do you wake up? This morning I was up at 6 o'clock. What's your favorite tractor? Either the 4640 or the 8235R. The thing I don't like about the 8235R is that it's, it constantly throws, throws codes. Um, I didn't really talk about this too much, but honestly, why not? Um, I don't know what it is, but there's some times where we're driving along the tractor. And I'll be out in the field or something like that working, like, like the spring I was chisel plowing. And um, was I chisel plowing? What was I doing? No, I was VTing because we didn't have the 82 on the chisel plow. Um, I was out and it threw a code and it limited the speed of the tractor so i could not get it out of it and i sat and fiddled around with the menus i cleared out the codes and i got it to quit coming up with the same error code and then it hasn't had any problems since so it, i don't know what it is hey ryan do you guys ever grow wheat or barley and why not if you don't we raise oats don't really see much use for raising any wheat or barley. What was the drawing? Um, not totally sure what the drawing was. So in case you guys haven't heard, um, Rhino is actually giving away a $1,000 rebate on any Rhino equipment. So say you want to say if you want to buy a tether and you want to buy it new, um, I can't think of what tethers are, but even like a blade, a blade is only, you can get a good Rhino blade, a basic unit for just, I don't know if you can get one for under two thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure, but um, I mean that's half the price off right there of a new blade. So Rhino's actually doing a giveaway on each day of the Farm Progress show next week. 
want, you can go over to Rhino Ag's Facebook page. There are several links if you go down uh, through the posts, you can just follow the link. You don't even have to have a Facebook account. You can just type in facebook.com forward slash Rhino Ag and you can sign up to get that rebate. And um, they're selecting one on each day, so that's three $1,000 rebates for whoever wants to buy something. Thanks for joining this live stream. For I'm probably going to run it for an hour, so another 25 minutes, if I did my math right. And, um, yeah, I got stuff that I want to do this afternoon. Thanks, Ricky. I appreciate it. Are you going to take down the 10,000 bushel grain bin? Probably at some point, but I think next year we're probably going to end up using it just to store some beans in because we could put something in it. We, I mean, it's stable now, but we just don't want to fill it even half wave. Do you or your family plant a vegetable garden? Uh, no, we don't. How old were you when you first... First time I drove a tractor alone uh, on the road is 12. But um, I mean, I rode with dad all the time when I was a kid and he let me drive. But my legs were too short to touch the pedals. Do you guys butcher any steers for yourselves? Uh, yeah, we used, every now and then we butcher a couple. I've got a no fail alarm clock. It's called a cat. Wakes me up early, whether I like it or not. I'll have to check it out. We found that broken wire haven't eroded since. Error coded, you mean? Yeah, the 82 hasn't given us any trouble since. What's the best season you had? Um, I mean, I'm not sure. 2012 was pretty good. Decent. Uh, JD Driver 95, I, I would guess we will not have a normal video today. I actually talked about this in the beginning of the video. If you join the live stream uh, later on, you probably didn't hear it. But um, no, there is not. I'm not posting a video today. I didn't get it done in time because, like I said, I had stuff going on here. And um, I just, I'm going to post it on Sunday instead. Our so up to date, I don't have a backlog. And unfortunately, when, you know, we're not doing anything, you know, we don't have any new projects going on on the farm. Um, I, mean, I don't record videos and I'm not going to record a video just to say, hey, I got a video, but I might do it. I might take it right out through the pasture tonight or something and record that just because I'm going to be gone for the next week. Why are you going to sell the Rhino equipment? Says Kevin Stigall. Um, we are going to sell the Rhino equipment because equipment's going to be listed in fast line i think it's going to sell pretty quick honestly especially the mower I'm, I'm i'm expecting either the tether or the mower to go first who is older you or your brother travis is older i'm the youngest of three how many years have you been farming um i've actually had my own crops since 15 but i had cattle before then Chickens you have these days? Oh, well, I can't say zero. I think mom's raising some chicks. Have you tried experiment with your videos and see if people would like your videos edited or unedited, Brett? Um, there is no edited or unedited to my videos. Um, really, I have to put them together somehow, and I'm not going to upload like a two hour video, two hour long video. So. How many, okay, I already answered that question. I don't know why it was highlighted. Whew. Ryan, do you have any videos of when your family used cows? Uh, back some of my very early videos were, if you go into my videos tab on my channel page and you click uh, newest, or maybe it's oldest, I don't know how you can order them, but uh, you can probably go back to the beginning and see some of my earlier videos. I didn't cover the milking too much. Um, I was kind of, of, as, and, you know, you hear about all these things about, um, you know, getting in trouble about showing things online and stuff. But ever since, we're just kind of like, man, screw it. <laughs> so. I uh, didn't know they were that long. Yeah, I record probably two hours of footage whenever I record a video. Like the video I shot for that I was going to post today, but is getting posted Sunday. I probably post. 
posted to record at least two hours worth of footage because I set the camera up just to record and then I take uh, bits out of each uh, out of each recording. Thinking about getting a brand new tool set, do you have any ideas about what type of tool set I should get? Uh, no tool set in particular. If you're looking for a brand, I mean, Travis likes Snap-on. Is there a market close by for hemp and will the English farm get replanted like your grandpa did in World War II? Uh, probably not. Just trust me. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I've actually sat and thought, I'm like, I should go down to Travis's place and cut some of that down and then try to sell it. But it probably wouldn't be that much because that stuff grows so heavy. And they say that the profit margin for um, like even an acre and an acre of hemp is a lot of hemp. So, I don't know. Why are you a YouTuber? Because I like doing it. Um, this is kind of my niche. I've always, I've always been a little bit tech savvy. I love the photographer in high school and, um, just kind of ran it. Mm. Thanks for watching Linda. Linda. Are you going to get farming simulator 19? I actually said this earlier. Yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm probably going to live stream it to stay. I'm probably going to buy it and then live stream. Ryan, did the vandalism thing get resolved? Uh, it's up in the air right now. I'm loving the Denali, Eric. Like I said earlier, having issues with codes. It's throwing codes too. All this darn technology. What do you think of Fent tractors? Uh, I hear they're really good, but never drove. Have you had any more trouble with the horses getting into your corner of the house? Fair defense. I haven't had any issues with it yet. Uh, I'll, I'll probably do a uh, follow up video of that field at some point just to kind of see how it's coming along. I was thinking about doing a day in the life too, basically just recording from the moment I get up and then just kind of following, following me through my day. Do you have to destroy the corn that is half eaten by horses? No. I would have to. Oh, for like a bio or bio security kind of thing? No, not really. What do you think about Massey Ferguson? I said this before. Um, I think they look pretty slick. Thanks for watching. Food for food forest home permaculture. Can't talk today. How long does it take to plant your acreage? Uh, we took like a month to plant this spring. Typically it takes us around a month, but we can finish it way sooner if we want, especially with the new, uh, well, I say new, but um, just cause it's new to me. Uh, the, the planner, the 12 row planner now, um, we can get done planning in no time. Would you buy a new combine if, if you could? How long have you liked John Deere? Basically all my life. Why are you don't make any silo bales? Your cows would enjoy it. Like silage? Uh, we don't have any way of chopping silage. How does a PTO work? Uh, basically, a PTO uh, takes off the, comes off the drivetrain of the tractor from the motor, and you can engage it and disengage it, and you use it to... Sorry, I didn't hear you say when, why you said you in YouTube. Why, why I do YouTube? Because I enjoy it. Um, I have done photography all my life, so. Yeah, I've just kind of rolled with it. What is your thought on Travis wanting a grain truck and trailer? Um, want one, but will we buy one? Probably not anytime soon. Are you Lucas? Where do babies come from? You see when a mommy and daddy cow love, you, love each other very much. If 
Fent, Massey, and Challenger are basically repaints of the same machines. Got to run brand new Fent last sheet, winter hauling hay. Pretty cool things. Yeah, I've basically heard. Oh, Fent, Massey, and Challenger. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were all made by the same designer. And they are just kind of basically all given a different paint job. I remember when they introduced the new Challengers. Basically, they were derived off of Fent. Has YouTube ever contacted you to do creator sessions? Yes, YouTube. <laughs> uh, I've been invited to do creator sessions. I have my own YouTube manager. So every few weeks I'm with someone from YouTube who basically talks over my channel, looks it up, she looks it over, uh, basically tells me things that I should try doing or um, just kind of looks things over. We just kind of share information, what works for me and what has worked for other people. So. Um, I, she actually just, just like last week invited me to go tour the headquarters, headquarters out in California in San Francisco. Fun fact, when you reach a hundred thousand subscribers, right to reserve a YouTube space in LA, I think it is. And, um, you can basically just use their studio for a full fleet with lighting and cameras and the whole nine yards. So I could go out and do it, but I mean, I'm a farming channel. Why would I do something like that? So I'll let it go. Do you still have a boat? Yes, I do. If so, you should make a video on the river. I want to, but I don't know. Scared of the feedback, I guess you could say. What's the f did you get? Um, I mean, I haven't gotten a tractor yet. Travis's first tra tractor was a 7,600. How much does it cost to start a farm? Depends on sides or size. Most often, uh, pretty darn expensive. What do you think about a John Deere 4440 four wheel drive? I haven't seen one. I've heard of them, but I haven't actually seen one. What was the best thing you did on your farm? Quit milking? I mean, I think that really kind of put us ahead of the curveball on that one, especially with the way that milk prices are. Whatever happened to your John Deere X730 lawnmower? Um, it wasn't mine. That was dad or mom and dad's lawnmower. Before I had my own lawnmower, I would use theirs to mow my lawn. What state do you go to for auction of the calves? We go to Bloomington Livestock, which is in Yeah, that's kind of the thing, Craig. Um, basically everybody who has a camera wants to be a photographer now. And it is actually a pretty competitive business. Business, um, I'm still doing pretty good. I've got, I think, two two weddings here in the next month or two. So that's pretty good considering I've I started to get out of it for a while. But since YouTube started to change their ad policies and I'm making less on YouTube now, um, I'm starting to do more photography again. Just kind of compensate. Tax cut from diesel fuel. Uh, yeah, there is no tax on offer. And any fuel that we use for the farm, we can deduct from our taxes. Would you guys buy forage equipment again? I would like to, but I mean, I don't really have the money to buy it all again. So round bales work pretty good for us. What's the best part of farming? Being your own boss. How many hours are on the 8235R? Rough, very roughly. If you were to get a tractor for yourself, what would it be? Um, <laughs> I've always just loved the 4960s, but I'm not totally sure what if I were to get one myself. It would probably be something either a 40 or a 50 series. Going pretty good, Leo. Ryan, you talked about your grandfather. Was his father a farmer? Yes, my family is has basically been farmers all the way back. <laughs> call your T7 Big Blue too? Yeah, I just call my truck Big Blue now. What's the best part of the farm? For what? There it goes, one hour and 44 minutes or 85 miles north of Potosi. Must be a pretty small town because I haven't heard of it. 
I've heard of most towns in Grant County, but beyond that, I'm not too familiar with them, especially like straight north. I've never driven straight north by myself. Okay, I've gone as far as Gaze Mills, I could say. Need to upgrade internet speed. I can't, Jeremy, unfortunately, because I live out in the middle of nowhere. I currently pay over $100 a month for my internet, and it's I'm paying for 15 load and, and um, on a good day, eight megabytes down, on a bad day, four or five down and what i actually get for well that's kind of weird um oh that's where it is okay um i actually get like half a gig or half a, half a, half a meg upload so i get like a quarter of what i paid for as a photographer is the eye when looking at a sub um good question jim i think that it can be i think that it can be born but it also can be taught you just kind of have to have a knack. I mean, what I didn't realize as I as I was growing up is that I paid close attention to like the framing of pictures and stuff. Um, I was like really into like nature magazines and stuff and like pictures of mountains and stuff just because I liked looking at how they were framed and everything. And there's a certain pattern that your eye follows when you look at an image. So if I make a circle with my arms, typically although this is a very awkward position, like let's say I'm a ballerina. If you have a picture like this, I mean, generally that's a very appeasing picture to the eye. It's very easy to look at. What are you most excited about for the Farm Progress show? Uh, meeting all of our subscribers, of course. <laughs> I find the bed at the best part of the farm after a long day. Hey, Brian, how's it going? Do you, how do you like living where you're at? Um, I guess I don't really like where I live, where I live because of distance to everything. Um, there's nothing really close, but that's also the benefit. Uh, the benefit to me is that there is nothing really close. I like living on the middle of nowhere and that's where I basically live. But then I also look at other people who have to drive like 40 or just to go to Walmart. I mean, for me, I can get to Walmart in probably 30 to 40 minutes. For me, for me, it doesn't seem so bad. Unlimited data, voice, and text for $60 a month. Used over 100 gigs last month on Straight Talk. Yeah, but Straight Talk starts to reduce their speeds, plus um, it takes the back burner to Verizon. So around here, Straight Talk uses the Verizon towers. So straight talk and I'll just get the phone dropped because I used to have straight talk. Geez, Jim, you're getting quite to be quite the celebrity in the comments section. <laughs> uh, how firms work. Are you proficient in providing basic medical care considering how far you are from everything? It would be advisable. Providing basic, basic medical care like CPR. Uh, I did take CPR classes in high school. Very basic medical care, I'm sure. I could handle. I mean, the hospital is probably ten minutes away. Five if you were speeding. <laughs> hey Ryan, I'm from the Netherlands. Cool. You should send me some pictures sometime. Does daylight savings time impact the amount of work that you can get done in a day? Um, usually, we'll work less when it is daylight savings, or it isn't daylight savings when it's when there's less, but usually it's colder. So none of us really want to work for all night and day. <laughs> How many videos did you do before YouTube? I laughed the quality of the videos compared to the now of the ones I done in 4k. Um, How many videos did I do before YouTube? I, I didn't do, I didn't record any videos before YouTube. That's actually how I started getting, if you go back to my earlier videos, they're pretty terrible, but for the time, there were some of the best. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. What would you recommend for a starter seed drill? B-series drill. Old, but gets the job done. What's the best way to find land to rent? Put an ad out in the shopping news. 
or whatever your equivalent is where you are. It's weird. So I actually did a live stream on Instagram. What was it? Last night? Or the night before? It might have been the night before. And um, I did it on Instagram and I actually talked to a couple of people. We did face to face conversations. That was kind of fun. I plan on doing that again the next week. 30 minutes for an ambulance. Oh yeah. For, for an ambulance to show up um, it at the farm, it took roughly 15 minutes at that rate. You're almost faster. You're just if you're able to drive someone yourself, you might as well just do that. Will you join a farm equipment auction soon? I love these videos. I might go to another auction sometime, but I don't really have the cash around to buy anything at an auction. So I'm not really interested in it, I guess you could say. How about taking first responder classes? I was a firefighter, first responder in Salem Township 22 years ago, maybe in the future. What is your opinion on the government subsidies? Well, I haven't heard any more about it really than what Travis told me because I tried to avoid it because until it actually happened. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Um, but I heard that they're going to be given over a dollar for soybeans or something like that and like barely anything for corn. On Sunday, everyone watched this first video and then watched the new one. The quality difference is amazing to see how far you go. Thanks, Joey. You have a great day too, Crazy Craig. Glad you watched. I'm glad you enjoy our videos. Thanks for watching. Are you going to be selling some of the new hats at the Farm Progress Show? No, unfortunately, because I'm not going to be getting. Yeah, um, I'm not going to be getting the hats until October, unfortunately. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not even sure for the shirts at this point. So. I guess we'll see what's going to happen. Um, I don't know. I still got to rent the car because I was, I got to rent a car from it. I was worried last night because I hadn't booked one yet, but I looked at the prices last night and the prices came down for some reason. So I guess if you reserve on a shorter notice, you might get cheaper prices because it's like a hundred bucks less than it was before. See you later, polar bear. When is the new equipment demo showing up, Jaron? Um, it's not showing up until it stops raining because we got to cut hay first. What kind of farm? Beef and crop. When at the Farm and Progress show, ask the guy, Rhino guys to talk about the V8 to 10 wheel style rigs. I'll probably will record at the Farm and Progress show too. So I have had to drive. I have 40 store if I'm at my mom and dad's place. But where I live in Warner is South Dakota is 12 miles. Yeah, 45 minutes. I mean, that's pretty reasonable around here just to go to like get groceries. There are places that are closer. Like you could go to Lancaster. We have a Piggly Wiggly up there. And um, that's just like a basic grocery store. And you could get there in like 10 to 15 minutes. But the nearest Walmart is probably at least 40 minutes away by the time you get to the other side of Platteville. Thanks for watching, Scott. Watch out for Sunday's video. What's the land rent prices per acre in your area? Not because there's what the landowner wants and then there's what the farmer is willing to pay. What's the craziest thing you have seen happen on the farm? Um, last week I had a cow get a 12 inch, 13 inch stick stuck up her nose. Ouch. Um, craziest thing I've seen on the farm? I don't know. Thought about it, I could come up with stuff, but other than you know, typical stuff like like animals and stuff, I don't know. I can't really think of anything too crazy. Just curious, have you hung my burning wood burning anywhere yet? It's sitting right at the desk, right in front of me. Just curious, okay. Would you recommend for a starter combine? Uh, for a starter combine, 6620, because I don't know what they're selling for these days, but 
if depends on what, how much you're doing or what you need it for. <laughs> uh, but yeah, around here, uh, I would say roughly between 200 and 300. I know that there are landowners who are still, there are, there are people who are still paying $308 an acre. And I am one of them actually on one of our pieces, but that's going to be coming to an end this year because uh, it's just, you can't make a living on it. Most landowners want as much money as they can off of their ground. But unfortunately that doesn't always mean that the farmer will be able to make a profit on it. And the farmer has to make a profit on it to be willing to run it. Um, this is situation overall. So we've been, I'll answer a few more questions and then uh, I'll call this live stream to a close. Uh, where was I? Thanks, Weedman, Weedman Photography. What would, you what would you recommend for a starting tractor? 4020, hands down. Thanks, Pat. I got to get back to work too. I got to end this live stream and get back out there. You ever think about doing a hangout here? and so on this winter they're pretty fun yes i've considered it but i don't know how i would set one up or how to set one up i should say hmm. let's see all right Why only John Deere? Because we're familiar with it. Hello from California. Hello from Wisconsin. All right. So I think that's pretty well it. I'll answer the last few questions if there are any. Thanks, Brandon. You too. Hello from Mexico. Growing corn too. Nice. Thanks for dropping in, Steve. And now we're getting the guys from Italy. Cool. We have 27. Thanks, Jaron. In Grant County, it would cost 1.7 million just for the land and house, 576 acres. Is that it? For 500 acres? I am six foot tall. All right. So I'm going to call this live stream to a close. No more. No more questions. One of the questions was about the Rhino deal. I'll cover that before I go. Um, people are making farming simulator maps of the farms. So thanks to Thomas Man for dropping in, saying hi. You too, Joe. So anyway, um, I'm going to call this live stream to a close. The deal with the whole Rhino deal, what's going on with that? I'll cover it in another video. Uh, probably the next video, I use the Rhino equipment. But uh, for the Rhino stuff, what's happening is we are, so we're going to be getting all new Rhino equipment, and that means we have to sell the equipment that we have now. So we're going to be working with Rhino Ag and FastLine to sell the equipment that we have now. So if you guys are interested in buying any, it's going to be a first come, first serve basis uh, for the, any of the equipment that we have. And um, it's going to be in FastLine, I'm sure, in, in about a month on FastLine's website, there will probably be more information. So uh, just keep an eye out. I'm sure I'll say something about it again in the future. If you guys are watching the live stream now, you're probably one of my more dedicated subscribers anyway. So uh, you'll probably hear about it. So with that, uh, let you all go. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking in here with me. And um, yeah, that should be about it. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned next week for the upcoming live streams as well. Um, I'm basically going to be live streaming on the road and answering questions. So it should be a pretty fun time.